brand new Need I say gems? Need I say vats? <laughs> so, you're the famous James Brand. So, you're the famous Dr. What's New. You come to buy a fortune cookie, no doubt. But, uh, so sorry, Mr. Brand. We sell strictly Jose. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be that on the bush with you, Doctor. I had a terrible time trying to get out here to Fire Island. <laughs> that boatman of yours attacked me. <laughs> Lucky I had by me my stick with the nail in it. On, uh, on the fire iron, uh, Mr. Brown, such attacks are not uncommon. <laughs> What's your game, Doctor? You done fool me with this phony fortune cookie front? Game, Mr. Brunt. I only pray at games I cannot lose. <laughs> For example, at this moment, you will notice my chopsticky, poised and ready. On the tip is just the right amount of deadly poison. Don't forget my stick with the nail in it. <laughs> that nail is pretty rusty. Quite so, but uh, if you will look at that ivory elephant on the mantle, <laughs> when a button is pressed, the eyes emit powerful laser beams, <laughs> powerful enough to cut you in two. Yes, 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 now you look into this wonton soup you gave me. Those are no longer wontons, they are Kepler. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, I switched them earlier. The Kepler are made of a highly explosive material. <laughs> Just the slightest star in this whole place will blow up like a blitz. Very clever, Mr. Brand. But before you are stirring your clever, I must tell you about this chair you sit in. You see, Mr. Brand, my knee controls a river that will release two daggers in the back of that chair. But if I were to pitch forward too suddenly, Dr. New, the mezuzah hanging on my neck. <laughs> I repeat, the mezuzah hanging on my neck would be jarred enough to release a noxious liquid that will chap your lips. You win, Mr. Brown. What do you want of me? What do you know about a paper that lists the ten highest B'nai Brit pledges? B'nai Brit? Pledges? Could it be? Mr. Brown, does the phrase red and the blue is a brown mean anything to you? Not the way you say it. No. <laughs> yes, yes. But I know what you mean. That's the password of Tanta. How could you know it? Unbelievable. It seems we are both working for Tanta. You must be my ransom. <laughs> to tell me you're with Tanta? Be sure. You don't look it. <laughs> well, I'm with the Far East chapter. <laughs> I'm half Jewish, half Japanese. My real name is Irving Yamamoto. <laughs> I am trying to get those prejudices back because half of them are promised to the Formosa division of the UJA. <laughs> well, it seems. It seems, my friend, we're both after the very same gefilte fish. <coughs> Doctor, what have you learned? Everything point to one man. Gold Flaker. <laughs> gold Flaker? No. Not 14 carat Gold Flaker, the Matzah King. <laughs> Precisely. But Gold Flaker is the most powerful matzo magnet in the whole kosher cracker industry. How does he figure in all of this? Oh, he is a top man of trade. He has perfected the method by which the parade names are to be distributed to the other agents of trade. A method that would have gone undetected if it were not for us. And tell me, what is this method? He has baked the list into the middle of a matzah. <laughs> I 
C, yes. And that single matter. What if we don't find it? Oh, then there will never be another bar mitzvah and Formosa. <laughs> commercial take one I mean take one <laughs> You're all true. We know all about you and your crazy scheme. We were expecting you, <laughs> Mr. Blunt. Don't move. As you see, that that's my man, Zlob, over there. He is koshering the matzahs. Well, his yamuki skullcap has a sharp stainless steel rim. So what? Uh, if you move, Mr. Blunt, he will throw that skullcap at you. And whether you use... Doo -doo. Or... Doo -doo. Or... <laughs> or any other blade, <laughs> you will find that Schlob's Yamuki cuts them all. <laughs> you fiend! Give me that list! I must get Daddy's name! Schlob! Ah! Ugh! Killed by a flying yamaka. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for you, we have even better plans, Mr. Blunt. We are going to strap you into our conveyor belt and watch you plopping into the matzo belt. <laughs> Pretty soon, Mr. Blunt, it will be better up. <laughs> Don't be silly, Gold Flaker. Ever since I've been here, the transistor radio on the heel of my shoe has been sending out Morse code signals to my brother agents in Israel. <laughs> my help should already be on the way. But uh, you forget, Mr. Blunt. Today is Saturday. <laughs> and Israel is closed. <laughs> now you will go into the better. But after we have learned all that you know, Save your time. Nothing can make me talk. Oh, no. But you have not as yet met Miss Sissy a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she can make anyone do anything. Sissy a lot, eh? <laughs> well, she won't get anywhere with me. <laughs> From the moment you first see her, Mr. Blunt. You will have but one thought in your mind. And what will that be? You'll have to make sissy. <laughs> All right, Slob. Bring him in here. Mr. Blunt, this is sissy a lot. Wowie wow. <laughs> we will leave you two alone for a while. Well, sissy, you're certainly lovely. The loveliest lassie what I've ever seen. <laughs> and I know what you want. Likewise, Mr. Blonde. Very well, then, let's make a deal. We'll play any game you name. If I win, I get everything. If you win, you get everything. I hate to brag, but believe me, either way, you get everything. Very well, James. 
we'll play spin the bottle. Spin the bottle? Yes, and it's only fair to warn you, I'm the best spin the bottle player in the world. But there's only you and me in the whole room. I'll take my chances if you will. All right, spin it. The doorknob, the bottle pointed to the doorknob. You have to kiss the doorknob. <laughs> Okay, okay. Now it's your turn. Ha <laughs> ha, the window. Ah, the stove. Hmm, the chair. The table. The rug. The piano. You. You. I really love you, sissy. Then, it's true, isn't it? Yes, it's true. Blondes do have more fun. <laughs> now, you must escape and take me with you. But my mission, I've got to find that matzah containing the list. I know where it is, James. It was sent to the White House in Washington, along with a whole gross of innocent matzahs. The president is throwing a barbecue and kosher cookout on the White House lawn for Ambassador Goldberg. <laughs> but how could Goldflake make such a stupid mistake? What a dummy. Sending that list to the president of all people. Goldflaker didn't send it. I did. Red and blue is brown, James. <laughs> but how? How do you know? I'm with international police eliminating nasty evil men altogether. That's I-P-E-N-E-M-A. You mean? Yes, James. I'm the girl from Ipanema. <laughs> Mr. President, Mr. President, <clears throat> I'm uh, Stan Greeson from uh, United Press. Uh, yes, sir. Your question. <laughs> uh, is it true uh, that you've taken a special personal interest in the Women's Army Corps? Yes. I've even been sort of hoping that they might someday be known as Johnson's Wax. <laughs> uh, would the uh, questions continue, please? Mr. President, uh, I'm Murph the Sir from the Miami Herald. <laughs> uh, what's on your mind, son? Sir, uh, is it true that you're thinking of renaming the White House? Well, we have been giving some serious thought to calling it by a much folksier name than White House. We've sort of been wanting to call it simply Birdland. <laughs> Continue, please. Uh, Mr. President, I, I'm Sarah Lee Cheesecake, a Restaurant Associates newsletter. Uh, sir, is it true that you are sponsoring a discotheque for the aged? <laughs> yes. In keeping with our policy of providing greater opportunities for our senior citizens, we are opening a lovely little dancing place called the Medicare A Go Go. <laughs> Sir, I'm uh, Sheldon Brodsky, uh, unemployment bulletin. Uh, sir, why was Lieutenant James Carey relieved of his duties as one of our astronauts? Because of the mental requirements. But, Mr. President, now Carey had the highest IQ of them all. That's the point, son. You know, nobody likes a smart astronaut. <laughs> Mr. President, I'm James Blunt, secret agent 00695, marked down from seven. <laughs> I'm the man from Tanta. Uh, what can I do for you, Mr. Blonde? Uh, so, what happened to that case of matzo sent here from the Goldflaker Bakers? <laughs> uh, baker? Don't say that word, Baker, around <laughs> here. Mr. President, among those matches was one that contained the list of the ten highest pledges to the B'nai B'rit Drive. Our enemies in Treif 
have done everything to get that list. We must recover that before it's too late. Well, since we had to discontinue our plans for the kosher cookout, what with Mr. Goldberg being awfully busy these days, why we decided to serve those matzahs as hors d'oeuvre crackers right here at this press conference. You mean we're eating those matzahs right now? <laughs> yes. And uh, wait a minute. Stick out your tongue, Mr. Blonde. <laughs> Ah, uh, how curious. Your tongue has I pledge $10,000 written on it. <laughs> Why, then the matzah I'm eating must be the one that has the list. You've done it, Mr. Blonde. You've helped keep the world safe from trade. <laughs> Well, sissy, here we are. We'll be touching down in London in about half an hour. Oh, James, is it really over all of it? Yes, sissy, all of it. I've got the list back and all of the gang are in custody, except for Goldflaker. When our men converged on the Goldflaker factory, why, Goldflaker stumbled over his man's love steal him yarmulke, <laughs> and they both fell into the matzo batter. <laughs> oh, James, at last we can relax. I spin the bottle all we want. I know M is going to really like you. Uh, excuse me, sir. Uh, coffee, tea, or milk? <laughs> tea, please. Oolong with just a dash jasmine in it. One. One oolong with a dash jasmine. Serve it exactly 182 degrees. Is that uh, Fahrenheit or centigrade? That's Fahrenheit. Pyrex glasses preheated to 200 degrees <laughs> and kept at that temperature for precisely 10 minutes before the tea is poured in. No sugar, a sliced lemon exactly two centimeters thick and twisted once. Oh, James, you know how to live. <laughs> and, uh, sir, will you be taking a piece of matzo with your tea in a glass? Matzo? Yes, sir. You are flying LL Airlines, you know. Well, no. No matzo, thank you. You never can tell what you'll find inside of one. <laughs> or 